So as this next update releases with a massive update to the team system, as you can clearly see right here, I have changed a bunch, quite a few things with the team system itself, and added some new things that will make it stand out from the uh, friend system. Because as you probably knew or did not, I pretty much resisted on allowing you to have multiple friends, which basically became the team system. But now, there's a clear difference between the two, and I'm pretty happy about that. So, let me get started with the uh, with this stuff, because I'm pretty sure this caught everyone's eyes with the videos I've been uh, putting out there. So you got the King of the Hill slash Domination settings, you got all the settings about these. These are sound and stuff, nothing important. Time limit and the capture rate of the points. Then there's the capture the flag settings, which has a bunch of sounds you can customize. Now I'll talk about why there's an asterisk here and what this means. I gotta. Oh crap! <coughs> Excuse me. I did not mean to edit that. Anyways, capture limit, time limit, and return time, which are pretty self-explanatory. Team panel and team data panel. So let's get started with the team panel. You can see it's different quite a bit. I got two teams here, Ice Drop and Green Paw. You can see there's a team name, which is required, a team model. Now you can't have multiple models, so this is only one. And the team color, which you want to set it as. If I double click these, you can see that's what this is. Team color, team color, that. And you can select one of these, set as your team. So I'll select this. Or I could just leave entirely. You know, when you make a team here, when you're finished, you press submit team, and that's it. Pretty simple, as always. Now this, we'll get to that in a second, as now we go to the uh, two entities I have worked up. We'll start with the King of the Hill stuff, or Domination, as this actually pretty much can serve as, which is why slash Domination is this here. So we'll give this a point name mid, because this is pretty much the mid map. I am capturing it. And you can see I captured it. You can also see it on your HUD to the left if you have it on right here. This is off by default. But you can see these will work. You don't have to play the mini game to use these. They'll work, They'll work either way. Let's see. We'll create some points here in this SDR room. When they would do Umbreon room. And that's pretty much it with the, those points. Now, here's team spawn points. These are spawn points you can set for teams. Let's see. Now, you want to put exactly a team name here. And I have ice drops, so you can tell it works because it's got ice drops uh, color. So I'll just, I'll just spawn a bunch of these. Same goes for the other teams. There you go. And that's pretty much it if you want a pretty accurate, uh, Domination, King of the Hill mode. Team spawns are optional. You don't have to have them, but it just enhances the experience. 
And speaking of team spawns, there's a new option here. Player spawns at team points, which means you can spawn at your team's spawn point. See? Spawn on that. And then there's this option, teams always attack, which it already tells you. But, shall we give it a little test? Let me just spawn one data so some things can be, uh, cached. So let's go to the king of the hill, we'll do a capture rate of that, and we'll play a one minute game. Let's see, what kind of, how many zeddits do we have? Alright, so we'll have a 63 seconds. And all we have to do is simply press start yeah, on. Get out of my face. Oh, Come on, Rick. Can't we just discuss this? All, all cough in more domination points will be set to neutral as you um, start a game as well. So, you should probably start. Get enough of me, but it's oh my good. goodness! We have 30 seconds left. So we have all three points. I got flash paint for like the second time already. We got, we got a lot of points there. So that was the uh, domination in King of the Hill mode. But here's something you can do now that we're on the topic. You can save all of these. You don't have to replace them every time you reload into the map or something. So in the team system, there's a new panel here, the team and data panel. So we open it, you can see this panel. There's nothing in here, since I don't have any saves, but what this will do if, let's make this uh, domination. And if we press enter, it will save it. And you can see it's right here. Now if I just delete everything, if I select this, and press load selected file, it'll tell you what team spawns are here. And it'll place all of your stuff back with their exact settings too. So it's pretty handy. Let's move on to capture the flag now. Let me uh, load this save. And delete the uh, capture the, f the uh, cough points. Here's the flag maker. What team this flag should belong to, and the cust a custom name for it, and a custom model if you very much wish. Like for example, why don't we just get the uh, f for the fun of it? Let's get the uh, Citadel because. What's funnier than just having a flag model be the little citadel? We'll have this belong to Ice Drop. We'll just name it Citadel, because that'd be funny. And as you can see, <laughs> it's a literal citadel. And if you're on the right, if you're on a different team, you can capture it. So I. I think you can. I'm on the right team, am I? Ice drop? No. Okay, so it appears... It doesn't work with some models, unfortunately. I'm gonna uh, take a quick screenshot of this for the people in the uh, Zeta's Domain Discord. So they can see that wackiness. Anyways. 
Let's spawn these down. We'll put the, uh... These are the green paw, right? Yep. So we'll just... In this green paw. We'll name this Flare. Because this is in a Flare room. And there we go. We have the flag. He did. Beautiful. So you can see the flag itself and the little combine mine under it. This is the capture zone. That's where you uh, capture any enemy or neutral flags. So let me just put the ice drop flag. Of course, which will be in this room. When they make points, since it's in the reset. I took the flag, apparently. And we could just put a neutral flag right here if we leave this plane. See? Any team can collect this and bring it back to their base and score a point. That's just how neutral is. Now we can also mark capture zones if we turn off allowed pickups. So if we do. You can see this is a capture zone. You can own. This is a zone where you can put uh, flags you're carrying to and capture it. That option's there for. If you want to use that. Spice things up with something different. Now, since we have the flags down, shall we begin? We'll do a capture limit of three, and we'll have the timer set to 150 seconds. And the return time will be 15 seconds. Let's spawn the Zetas. And, uh-oh. But yeah, again, the all these entities will still work, even if you don't have the minigame active. So you can just have an infinite game, practically. Let's begin. You can see on the left, playing the three catches, ice drop score, and drink pop score. So, I'll just play the game. And we can bring this to this capture zone. Okay. Hey, I can see a fag old city from here. I'm not doing too well on the uh, B hopping. Now we just okay, need one more capture and we will win. Go get that flag, buddy. Tough shit. This son of a bitch. Way to go, Pally. Whatever. <laughs> How repulsive. Man. I'll shove every one of them on your arms. Oh, no, they have a flag. What the fuck is this? Huh? Ah, shot. We have a problem. Thanks for complimenting my shot. Ah! This is getting close. They, they have our flag. Not good. Not good.
and our flag return. And we won, just like that. We can save this. We'll name it CTF. And there we go. That's pretty much it with that. Now let me show you this. Since again, so this doesn't become a invisible feature. You can see I have this is a direct file. But this here, this means anything in this directly or directory will be picked randomly. So why don't I just go to that to show you? I believe I have Now I have a custom folder named Zetakov. You go there. You can see right here it'll pick any one of these. It doesn't matter by the names or stuff, it's just MP3s and waves. You're just limited by source once again with any audio limitations. So that's a pretty cool feature, so you don't have to have like the same constant sound file playing. And the file path doesn't matter either. You could just have whatever directory. But that's pretty much it. I need to uh, speak on this uh, new team system and stuff. Have fun with it once it's out. Or if it is out. Whatever. <laughs>